Welcome back. So you might be thinking, who in their right mind is actually using a command prompt with all these great UI tools? But actually the truth is the command prompt is used and it's used more and more again because a lot of CLI, command line interfaces, we'll get back to those later, are actually used out there. Like if we want to build a web API soon, we could actually use a CLI tool to do that inside the .NET Core framework. Or in Angular, we're forced to use the CLI, or at least I'm going to force you into using the CLI. So get used to the command prompt, start using it. Um, Git has a lot of great tools in the command prompt that you can use using their CLI. And um, there's also, it's just more powerful when you start to really use the command prompt with, for instance, Git, because you can do some other commands than you can from most of the UI tools out there. So don't give up on command prompt. It's actually quite useful if you wanna really start diving into that. Okay, let's try and open our solution here. I want you to notice a few things. First of all, there's no .vs file here anywhere. If I just zoom here, there's no .vs file. If I go into one of the packages, there's no bin folders or object folders because we haven't started the solution yet. This is a clean that we just got from GitHub. It's a clean solution. So when I open the solution now, a lot of things is going to happen. It's going to first of all build a .vs folder in here and that's actually for the project on my machine. So that's actually for the settings I'm going to use for Visual Studio for this specific project. That's actually what's going to be in that file right there. So let me try and show you now. There's actually a hidden .vs folder in here now and that's actually my configurations for Visual Studio. Another thing you'll notice is as it starts building, it'll add a bin and an object folder in here. So now it's actually ready to run and our product is ready to start. 